What's good, fellow duelists? Watch your life back again with a whole nother deck. Um, this is, will be my intake on the um right now of me trying to learn how to play Scareclaw and playing the deck as my new pilot deck. Um, still working on getting more um back into Yu-Gi-Oh and building back up this channel, doing new things on this channel. So please bear with me, but I'm still trying to get to 100 subscribers. So if you're um if you are scarecrow do it please subscribe like and comment tell me below what i can do to improve um also other tips i need to know about playing scarecrow that would be very helpful with um me doing with with this video on the channel so i'm gonna go ahead and get into the deck profile quick and simple as usual simple intro so we're going to start off um not really playing a lot of hand traps in here, but there is a lot of things like snake eyes and all these decks that special summons a lot in this format today. So I feel like Nibiru, it's not that really that much control decks out here. It's more spam and stuff. So Nibiru to like hurt my opponent resources a lot, um, which is um, more harder to def deal with um, Nibiru because the um, recent ban list but it's still another useful card so I decided to run three Nibiru's um next three Castier Fenrir because this is Scareclaw deck and Castier with Scareclaw with Fenrir and Fenrir just being a um opening summon when it's an opening hand. Um like I said I go with the um Castier Scareclaw so we have three Scareclaw and three Fenrir's. Um, a little small Castier package in here. Um, we right, and then we have three Viscous Star Frost. Um, I believe my ratio might change when I learn how to really pilot this guy. Um, pilot this deck. Oh, man. But honestly, two, three. This is Die Frost. Might go to a third one depending on if I um get the other um this monster to like one level four tuna monster. But honestly, just he works out right now with three. Just you just want to see him in an open hand, so you don't have to waste a search on him. Same as kind of like me running three. This ratio would probably change two later on, but right now I play three starting off with. Rise of Heart, um, Rise of Heart, to be able to search my scare cross spell and traps when needed to. Um, a crow, a crow, scare be able to um, your gain for each defense position monsters. Run three for the standard level three ones, so you'd be able to multiple attack, and then for the piercing damage. Just for name purposes, I run three of each of them just to be able to see one in the opening hand for additional special summoning of scareclaws to help combo off. Establish boards. Um, that's it for the monsters. For the spells, I don't know, three fill spells. Um, honestly, I see it's a lot, so I don't know if I should cut this down to add a terraforming or, but basically, right now, three is working out for me instead of running a terraforming. Um, for the spell, also for the spells, we run a three scareclaw arrival to be able to um, bring back your scareclaw from the graveyard. And keep on link summoning to this band. Two forbidden droplets. Two triple, two triple tactical talents for them hand traps just to. Keep on going in my turn when my opponent trying to stop me. Just lightning storm, 
destroy spells and traps or destroy all monsters depending on if I go second or not just to be able to have it in the main deck since it is semi limited right now I still do not own any pot of prosperities but working on getting some of those in the near future because I play this because I play a lot of ratios of the same names of cards in here so I felt like my desire right now for this build is okay but I would like something much much more better or um, more reliable or faster so I don't have to burn a lot of resources really but for right now the pot of desire actually works out for me um, with testing and the last trap we have Scareclaw, Twin Saw, just, you know, so sore blackout to get the Chibi one of my Scareclaw and then target two cards of my phone controls and destroy them. That's it for the main deck. Um, extra deck. Felicious Astralot, we run two of the fusions, be able to summon it from banishing stuff from graveyard or field. 3k monster and he also can get bigger targeting your opponent monster um one dweller I feel like maybe if I have another level 4 engine that floats well within it I could probably run two dwellers because of snake eyes but one dweller right now and that's basically my only XC because you know extra deck space really tight nowadays um Underworld Goddess of the Closed World. Basically, could just want to clear something off my opponent board with Link Summoning. Two Scarecrow Try Hard. Don't really need three. Um, probably would play three if I had Pot of Prosperity, but two for right now. Scarecrow, Lightheart, three of. Um, probably, really, you could go down to two, but the third one is a filler next deck right now. If I get better, a better extra deck. I want Asura, the um, Earth Charmer. Just get back Earth things, and this being an Earth based deck, just to get your level threes from deck to hand in a way situation your opponent destroys it but all in all just because you play earth you can play the earth charmer the light charmer or the dark charmer and this deck is either way works out really just i feel like just playing one charmer um and in and off the extra step package um not really heavy on the lincoln really in this deck but you establish a good board to try to beat your opponent down. But just situational, I just feel like these nightmares are everything you, as a filler right now, you know, kind of on a budget right now, still getting into getting other cards. But one Nightmare Phoenix, because you call it my chemical struggle battle, then the one for card effects. Being able to draw if you get multiple nightmares on the field is still good. And then Nightmare Griffin. So if things ain't cold, they can't activate their effects, and it, keep it in a more control base. Um, honestly, this is quite very similar, but also different to how Crusaders will play. But I like the similarity with the links and beatdown, like a link beatdown deck. Um, kind of really like that. That Konami has a deck like this right now, and trying to see what it can do and how much I can win with it. Um, right now playing so thanks you guys for tuning in to this deck profile got more deck profiles to come up so please stay tuned to watch your life watch your life signing out